The story begins at Pan Long Island, Jiang family. They were having a meeting with the head of the Jiang family, Jiang Qinghee. He asked everyone if they knew why he called them for a meeting. Feng, Ping, and Tian Long were speechless. But according to Bao, he thinks it's because today is the day the former family head Zhang Kai Feng died. King He was annoyed by his answer and he dropped his tea and cursed. According to him, why would he care about that thief? He told them to spread this message, none are allowed to pay their respects to him. Zhang Bao was speechless and he was sweating at the moment. However, Zhang King He told them, the Zhang family is coming to discuss matters with us today. Prepare for their visits, and don't make any mistakes. Meanwhile, in front of a grave, there was a boy who kneeled down and said, Dad, you sacrificed everything to build our family. He is Zhang Ting, the main character of our story. According to him, on this day, his father died for them, but nobody is there to pay their respects. He doesn't know what to say. I'm sorry for being so useless, I couldn't find my place and was kicked out. I couldn't fulfill your last wish. I hope you will forgive me, Zhang Ting stated. And while he was bowing down, there was a shadow of a person at his back. He glanced at him, and he was startled when he saw Zhang Ping. He paid respects to Ting's father and said, Uncle Zhang, I miss you dearly. But he didn't finish his words, because Ting interrupted and told him, Zhang Ping, thank you. Nevertheless, Ping continued and said, You really deserve to die. Ting was shocked after hearing it and it made him enraged and gritted his teeth. Ping was about to stomp the flower vase and said, Why would I respect a thief? You destroyed the family's reputation. He continued to stomp the flowers, and it made Ting enraged. As he squeezed his fist there were red flames surrounding it. He rushed to Ping and said, You bastard. He wanted to punch Ping, but there are green flames he encounters. Ting was startled. When Ping caught his fist, Ping told him, You call this a blood pulse, and he called his bull pulse to come. According to him, Zhang Ting is so weak, and without his father he was nothing. Ping attacks him using the power of a blood pulse, and Ting threw it on his father's grave. He was coughing and blood came out from his mouth. Ping has a fierce look at the moment, and according to him, Ting is useless. However, he approached Ting and said, By the way, Zhang Ting, I forgot to tell you. The Zhang family brought their daughter here. Do you think they are going to cancel the marriage? He also insulted Ting and based on him, trash like Ting is better off alone and he laughed and walked away. While Ting was being emotional at the moment, Ting was confused about why he would have any hope for the Zhang family, and he called himself an idiot. When he stood up, he said, as things stand, hiding in the dark won't solve anything, and suddenly there were yellow flames surrounding his blood. According to him, he will use everything he has. The yellow flames got bigger and even the cement of his father's grave was cracked. Ting was about to leave but the flames were following him and it forms like a person. According to him, fate intertwines with this child. If he really deserves it, then he will help Ting to become stronger. And suddenly, Ting felt weird at the moment. Based on him, maybe he got injured. As he walks away, Zhang Ting stated, I am sorry, my ancestors. If I survive this day, I will come back and rebuild your tomb. The next day, the Zhang family came to the Zhang family. Zhang family personnel welcomed them. According to this one person, the Jiang family is so powerful and their daughter is also beautiful. This man said this is a good day to discuss matters, but Xin Yan thought that the Jiang family would be more special. However, when they were inside all of them were silent. But Jiang King He said, welcome. The Jiang family is really powerful, we could use your help. And this head of the Jiang family told him, thank you for your kind words. The Jiang family is legendary on the island. How would I forget about you? Zhang King he was confused about why they came to their place. This man sighed and according to him, Zhang King he's son is really the pillar of the family. With his stature, his future is unlimited. Thank you, your daughter is also very beautiful and talented, King he stated. But according to him Zhang Ting doesn't even bother to show up when the Zhang family are here. However, he told King he enough with the small talk brother Zhang. The marriage between our families is unchanged, but only if my daughter marries Zhang Tian Long. Nevertheless, Tian Long said, Thank you, father-in-law. I'm honored to be your partner. But Xin Yan told him to stop it. According to this man, Tian Long and Xin Yan are destined for each other. King laughed and said, Today is a good day. The ceremony will be held here, and we will give the Jiang family ten blood refining crystals as a sign of goodwill. These three are shocked and according to the man in the center, ten blood refining crystals. Those are valuable materials. And the man beside him said, The marriage is still going. This is so good. All of a sudden, both of the heads of each family were puzzled after they heard a man say, Hold up. And when they saw the person it was Zhang Ting. He told Zhang King he that he was quite busy, even though it was the death anniversary of the former head. However, the head of Zhang's family said, Brother Zhang, go deal with him. 
and Jiang King he was startled. Jiang Ting entered their mansion, and Jiang King he told him, The Jiang family has already shown us kindness. What do you want? But Jiang Ting didn't listen to him. Instead, he approached Xin Yan and asked her if she was really going with this. The lady was enraged, and said, You dare to speak to me like that. And she used her pheasant blood pulse to hurt Jiang Ting. According to these people, it was a powerful blood pulse, and the aura is so strong. But nothing happened to Jiang Ting. Xin Yan told him, With the difference between our blood pulses, we will never be together. I will only marry Tian Long. You should leave. Jiang Ting was startled after hearing it. But Xin Yan continued and said, You can just write a letter of rejection, then I can marry him with no problems. And while Jiang Ting was bowing his head he told her, For you. Yeah right. From now on, we are strangers. She got angry with him but Tian Long stopped her. And he approached Jiang Ting and asked, Brother, why are you so angry? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Xin Yan has been my woman from the day your father died. Your fiancé is awesome. Jiang Ting was shocked and he was enraged after he found out. But Tian Long just laughed at him and according to him it was a good impression. Jiang Tian Long, I saw you as my brother. Jiang Ting stated. But Jiang King he told him enough and he will ignore his father's crimes if he would stop embarrassing their family. However, Jiang Ting squeezed his fists. And according to Jiang King he, as the family's head, he will punish Jiang Ting. And suddenly, Jiang Ting laughed loudly and said, what a family head. First my father, now you come for me. Is this the honor you are so proud of? Jiang King he was enraged at the moment. But Jiang Ting told him, You pick on the weak, abuse the power, force the other family members to follow you. Do you think I will follow your lead? You destroyed the Jiang family. My father spent years building it. You don't deserve to lead anything. You really are strong. And he thumbs down in front of them. However, Tian Long shouted at him, Jiang Ting, that's enough. But Jiang Ting told him, You, you aren't any good either. Nevertheless, the head of the Jiang family coughed to get noticed. According to him, looks like today is not the day to discuss such matters, and they will find another time. And he told Xin Yan that they needed to leave. Xin Yan just passed by Ting. He wanted to walk away but Tian Long stopped him. But he told him that if he needed anything he could come and find Ting at his father's grave. And he glanced at him and said let's see what will happen. Jiang King he was enraged and told that he is a traitor to their family, and he is a dead man. But Tian Long told his father, don't worry, I will take care of him. Meanwhile at the cemetery, Jiang Ping came and suddenly he punched Ting. He fell down and Jiang Ping told him, weren't you all serious and brave back there? What happened? Jiang Ting. He got up and sat down, but Jiang Ping told him that he looked like a dying dog. Jiang Ping was enraged and he raised his hand with flames on it, and said, the family head wants you dead. I won't let you off so easily. Ting wiped his mouth and said, Jiang King he is a coward, sending a coward to do a man's job. However, Ping rushed to attack Ting. Let's see how long you can keep this up. Jiang Ping stated. Ting was startled and according to him, it was bad. All of a sudden, Jiang Ping attacked Ting on his neck and it caused him to cough. And there was blood coming out from his mouth. Then Ping choked him and said, If you call me daddy, I will ensure your body stays intact. How about that? Ting said, Who do you think you are? I will never lose to you. Then he spat. Jiang Ping and it made him more furious. I will make you die a painful death, Jiang Ping stated. Instantaneously, he kicked Ting. But luckily nothing happened to him and he's still standing. Nevertheless, Ting raised his middle finger and asked, Jiang Ping, do you think someone like you can defeat me? I will make you pay for that. Jiang Ping stated and then he gritted his teeth. His bull pulse was coming to attack Jiang Ting. And according to him, this is his chance. Suddenly a big explosion happened. Jiang Ping laughed loudly and based on him, trash like Ting deserve an ugly death. But he was puzzled when he saw something above. And when he saw it clearly he was thinking that it was Ting's cloak. While looking above he said it was a distraction. And all of a sudden, Jiang Ting appeared in his front and told him, Die Jiang Ping. And he was pointing Ping's eyes with his two fingers with flames. He was suddenly bound by a chain on his body. It turned out that it was Ping's colleague who did this to him. While Ping was holding his hand, he told Ting, You are quite desperate, counter-attacking even though your blood pulse has been shattered. Jiang Ting, you are very cunning. If your blood pulse was stronger, you might have survived. Ting was enraged and according to him, why? Only his pulse can't take form. While Ping was pointing to his chest and did a scratch then told him, Playtime's over, time to die. Ting was telling him, no. But Ping just laughed at him and according to him, Ting's heart is really weak. All of a sudden, Ting heard a voice saying, Kid, do you want power? And Ting answered, yes, no matter the price. Then the voice he heard laughed and told him, good. Nevertheless, Ping was suddenly shocked when he saw that Ting was unchained and there are flames surrounding his whole body. 
Then he became stronger. Ting absorbs the power of the man behind him. Ting was confused about how did he get so powerful all of a sudden. And the other man told him, this isn't normal. He was enraged and told his companion, what are you afraid of? That's just a bluff. Then he was rushing to Ting. However, this man told him, the power is yours, try it out on him. L. And he rushed to Ping but Ping told him that he is still a piece of trash. Ping was about to punch him. But all of a sudden, Ting strikes him first. Ting told him, this one is for your lack of respect. Ting stepped on Ping's face and said, this one is for your cowardice. Ping was startled and looked nervous at the moment. Ting is not yet finished punishing him. Nevertheless, Ping was begging him and according to him, he won't ever do it again. But Jiang Ting absorbed Ping's pulse and based on him. This revenge is for his father. These people were shocked and according to the man in the center, they did not need to stand. They need to go back to Tian Long and report this. This egg belongs to the Jiang family. When Ting stepped on Ping, the flame serpent blood bulse appeared and he told him that it was time to return what he had stolen. At this moment, Jiang Ting told Ping to kneel and apologized to his father. Uncle Jiang, I was wrong. I am sorry, I am sorry, Ping stated. Ting told him, tell the thieves in the family hall that I am coming to take back what's mine. And Ping immediately ran away and said, got it, got it, I'm going now. But when he was a little far away he said, Zhang Ting, you should know your place. I will come back and destroy you. Nevertheless, Ting replied, screw off. However, this man said, how unlucky for our Zhang family to have such a descendant. Zhang Ting was thankful to him for the help he did. And suddenly he knelt and bowed down. If you need anything for me, I will do it without question, Zhang Ting stated. But this man laughed at him and said, good. I am the dragon blood emperor Zhang Kian Q from 500 years ago. No need to be so formal. I was only unsealed because of your blood. He told Zhang Ting to get up because he doesn't like formalities. He also informed Ting that he can call him Uncle Zhang. However, Ting replied, Sorry for breaking your seal. I didn't mean to disturb you, but how did you get sealed? This man said, About that, do you know of the invading power that came to our shores a few hundred years ago? Ting was shocked and answered the Pan Long house. And his uncle Zhang explained, They came to the island one day from the other regions, but nobody knew the specific location. The Pan Long house didn't waste time destroying the major families and took all of their resources. So the Zhang family fought back, but the Pan Long house cloaked themselves in a black shroud, gaining the upper hand. He was at his peak during that time. He only needed a bit more power to defeat the enemy. So he came to the ancestral tomb to start the inheritance ritual. However, he was patient and triggered a failsafe. It destroyed his body and sealed his soul inside the tomb. If he could survive, the battle could have been their victory. Jiang Ting was startled and asked him, So the legend of the dragon blood pulse was true. According to his uncle Jiang, yes it was true. But looking at the Jiang family now, it seems the battle was all but lost. Jiang Ting was thinking that only the Pan Long House has true dragon blood warriors. Even though his father awakened the earth dragon blood pulse, it was still far from the true dragon. Nonetheless, he is seen as a genius throughout the island. His father tried to take back what was rightfully theirs from the Pan Long House, but was injured by the enemy, and was labeled as a thief. He died a horrible death. The Pan Long House will always be their enemy. His uncle Jiang told him, I just awakened your blood pulse through the Nine Chains Dragon Chant. It can only be passed on mentally, so the Pan Long House will never get a hold of it. One day, you will become a true dragon and destroy the Pan Long House. Jiang Ting was enraged and he couldn't wait anymore. He told his uncle that they needed to go to the Bing Huo Forest to practice. After an hour, they arrived at Bing Huo Forest outer regions, and Jiang Ting used a calamity dragon fist and it caused smoke in the forest. But his uncle stopped him from using this style. Ting was confused and asked him, why? This is my father's style. According to him, they have divided ranks for martial artists into breathing practice apprentice, strength practice warrior, bone practice master, blood practice grandmaster, pulse practice monarch, marrow practice spirit, heart practice ruler, spirit practice lord and soul practice vessel. But based on this man, martial vessels only exist in legend, nobody has reached it yet. The Calamity Dragon Fist is an advanced technique. Skipping the basics and practicing this technique can damage their body. Jiang Ting clenched his fist and said, So that's why my body kept weakening over the years. His uncle told him, Don't worry, I can help you master every technique there is. I will teach you the refined sun first. It fits with your flame snake pulse and can repair your pulse. Jiang Ting closed his eyes at the moment. Refined Sun Fist, an intermediate technique, focuses flame on the hand to increase power. It can be used repeatedly nine times, increasing the user's rank temporarily. All of a sudden, a wild beast came. 
According to him, techniques alone are not enough to win you fights. You must strengthen yourself even more. Jiang Ting didn't notice that these beasts were at his back following him, and when he turned he was startled. These people are also hunters and they are wondering after seeing a light. According to them, they are using such a valuable item for this hunt. However, this dog is sniffing around, and when the dog noticed something, he immediately ran and the lady followed her dog. Zhang Ting takes the spirit of the three beasts, and absorbing it with his cultivation of a dragon pulse. According to him, he feels a lot stronger at this speed. Of course, the Nine Chains Dragon Chant is the foundation of our family. It's how our techniques are passed on, his uncle Zhang stated. As stated by Zhang Ting, he feels strong enough, these beasts aren't a challenge anymore. They have to go deeper inside the forest. Suddenly the dog, and the lady came and said greetings. Are you also going to the deep parts of the forest? Zhang Ting answered yes. This lady named Liu Mu Nan told him, there was a star-ranked beast inside. It's dangerous going alone. Why don't you join us instead? Zhang Ting was thankful for her invitation. And suddenly a group of men came and told her that their squad is full. A man named Tao Shan said, Moreover, I don't want a hunter that only hunts boars. Then his companion was just laughing. Moon An approached him and explained, Cousin, it's dangerous for him to go alone. We have to help him. Tao Shan was enraged and according to her, he don't want weaklings that only burden him. Then he just passed to Jiang Ting and told him, Flirting with my people, do you have a death wish? Jiang Ting was just silent but there were flames from his eyes. After what happened, Moon An told him that don't get angry because her cousin wasn't trying to offend him. In spite of that, Jiang Ting was thankful for her offer, but according to him, he preferred going alone. Nevertheless, Tao Shan was angry and asked her, why are you still talking with him? The beasts are going to eat you if you fall behind. Because of that, Moon An was frightened and she was sorry for Ting since he can't be with them. However, Moon An gave him a whistle and according to her, he can use it when he was in danger and Moon An will come to help him. She walked away but she glanced at him and said, don't lose it. His uncle Jiang was teasing him and stated, I haven't encountered this smell for five years, the smell of love. While he was holding the whistle, he told his uncle, Don't joke around, she was just a kind person, and I rarely encounter people like her. I wish her good luck on her journey. His uncle Jiang stated good luck. I hope so. That kid has an item that can bring them riches but also doom as well. Nonetheless, Jiang Ting told him that it was for them to enter the Bing Huo forest. And his uncle Jiang replied, Rig, let's hurry up, my spirit energy is running out. Meanwhile, at Bing Huo Forest, in front of Jiang Ting is a wolf, and he attacked it. The beast's body is full of fire. But all of a sudden, Jiang Ting was confused when the beast's body disappeared. His uncle Jiang told him that his technique's element is fatal to the wood wolf. It's no surprise the body disintegrated. Then Jiang Ting was curious about this circle item that he grabbed. According to his uncle, it is a beast pill. It contains the essence of the beast, but his uncle informed him not to take it raw because he might regret it. But when he looked at Jiang Ting, he had already swallowed it and he shouted at Jiang Ting, you ate it. And Jiang Ting was confused and asked him, what does he mean? And suddenly, Jiang Ting closed his eyes and there were flames around him. According to his uncle Jiang, Jiang Ting looks fine. The average person wouldn't have absorbed the pill without any setbacks. Jiang Ting's body is something special. Instantaneously, they hear the sound of a wolf. Jiang Ting was startled and said, that wasn't a normal wolf. And at that moment, one of the squads of Moon An was attacked by this wolf and he died. Then these two wolves were in front of them. Moon An said that she can't die here, but her cousin Tao Shan told her that he must live to take them on. And suddenly he pointed his swords at Moon An. She was worried at the moment and she asked Tao Shan what he was doing. But Tao Shan told her, shut up, stay here and distract them. If you move I'm going to execute you. The item that she's wearing creates lightning. According to Tao Shan, no matter how strong you are, they are still animals. As long as you wear the beastler pendant, they will follow you. And he told the beast, yes, good, go eat her up. Tao Shan left her and Moon An was covering her face because this beast was approaching her. She closed her eyes while stating, father, mother, I am sorry. Tao Shan kept running and according to him, this is his chance and a time to make an escape. However, the whistle that she gave to Jiang Ting created a flame after he refined the sun's fist. And he came to save Moon An. He asked her if she was okay. This beast was enraged at the moment. Moon An was thankful to him while Jiang Ting told her to stay back. Tao Shan was observing them and based on his words, he was shocked when Jiang Ting came. However, Jiang Ting was confused about why these wood wolves were targeting Moon An. But it seems that his uncle Jiang didn't answer him. Jiang Ting told himself, is he out of energy at a time like this? Jiang Ting was furious and Moon An was worried. And these beasts were approaching them. Chang Jin gritted his teeth and cursed at the moment. 
and he blocked the wolves with his dragon flames. But Moon An was anxious. However, Jiang Ting told her, Don't worry, I'm here. These beasts were biting his dragon flame, and even his arm was bitten. According to him, these wolves are only focused on Moon An, they don't care about the flames. She had tears in her eyes and he told Jiang Ting that he was bleeding. But, Jiang Ting smiled and replied, It's fine. Nevertheless, her tears started to fall down at this moment while stating, Thank you. But I can't just let you die like this. The wolves are after me. I will lure them away. You must live. And she turned back. Then Jiang Ting was startled. This wolf looks scary. And it suddenly jumped. And follow Moon An. But luckily, Jiang Ting grabbed her shoulder. And hugged her while saying don't run away. She begins to be emotional at the moment. Both of them are in the middle of this beast. Tao Shan was looking at them and at the back of his mind. Once both of them are dead, he can take back the beast lure pendant. However, Jiang Ting was still confused about why the wolves were only attacking her. He even questioned himself what did he miss. And all of a sudden, Mu Nan said, Tao Shan, I have already become the lure, please save him. Suddenly, Jiang Ting remembered everything and he got an idea now. It is because of the pendant. Tao Shan replied, save him. What a joke. My life is worth much more than him. Jiang Ting asked him, why are there so many animals in this world? Instantaneously, Jiang Ting shouted nine chains dragon and he suddenly became stronger. Tao Shan was confused about how Jiang Ting recovered so fast. However, Jiang Ting held a sword and told her, don't worry I've got this, don't move. And he suddenly cut off the pendant Moon An was wearing. He threw it away, and these wolves are roaring. Tao Shan was startled when he saw that the pendant was coming to him, and Jiang Ting suddenly threw the sword and said at the same time I will return that to you now. Tao Shan felt nervous when he saw that the sword and the pendant were coming toward him, and suddenly it hit him. He was shouted at because of his pain, and he was sweating at the moment, because he saw that the wolves were coming to him. But according to him, Jiang Ting eyes are more ferocious than the wolves. I am the prestigious son of the Tao family. You dare me to treat me like this. If I am hurt, the Tao family will be after you, Tian Long stated. Jiang Ting was about to carry Moon An and he answered, The Tao family. I am the young master of the Jiang family. However, the wolves are very aggressive and they look very hungry. These wolves are coming towards him. Nevertheless, Tao Shan shouted, Please let me go. I will give you what you want. Just let me go. But he didn't listen to him and they walked away. At the last minute, he was begging to Jiang Ting but no one listened to him. However, Moon An told Jiang Ting to put her down. Sorry for dragging you into this and you got injured because of me, Moon An stated. But Jiang Ting replied, It's not that bad, that person is dead now. If anyone asks about this, then tell them it was done by me, Jiang Ting. Then Moon An was thankful to him. According to Jiang Ting, the Jiang family is also having troubles of its own, so he can't escort her back home. And Jiang Ting told her, please stay safe. The exit is up ahead, there won't be any beasts there, goodbye. But Moon An was worried about his wounds. Nevertheless, Jiang Ting walked away and told her, it's fine, see you. Moon An was just smiling at the moment. Meanwhile, at the cemetery, there was a man who said, boss, we can't find him. And Tian Long replied, oh, not here either. But according to Jiang Ping, Jiang Ting could have run away. Nevertheless, Tian Long closed his eyes and said, how bothersome. And suddenly, he told his companion, I have a better plan, let's get him to find us instead. Destroy this entire tomb. When Jiang Ting arrived, he saw that the tomb of his parents was destroyed. Father, mother, I am sorry. They destroyed the tomb while I was away. I will execute all of you, Jiang Ting stated. Meanwhile, at Jiang's residence, it was a rainy evening and there was a man guarding the door. And suddenly he was shocked. When he saw Jiang Ting coming towards him, he told Jiang Ting, I advised you to stop here. Jiang Ting's tears started to fall down. He was annoyed at the moment. All of a sudden, this man used his panther pulse, and he was about to attack Jiang Ting. Jiang Ting was furious and just looked at him with tears on his face. And the battle started. Jiang Ting was enraged and he did his best to defeat his opponent. Jiang Ting told him, You didn't use your full power just now, my father was right to value you. And this man replied, Please, calm down, you know this is a trap, you will not survive. Since you've awakened your blood pulse, just wait for Jiang Yang and Jiang Yi to return, then take the fight to them. But according to Jiang Ting, it's too late. If he doesn't end it today, how can he call himself a man? Nevertheless, this man informed him, the young master powered up a lot in only a few days. I'm afraid that's still not enough to defeat them. However, these groups of men were guarding Jiang Ping. Because according to them Jiang Ting will find Jiang Ping first when he knew that his parents' tomb was destroyed. Jiang Ping was on the bed while his father was feeding him. Jiang Bai he is wiping his tears because he felt worried for his son. 
But Jiang Ping was enraged and told his father, I am still alive. You've been yapping for the whole day. Are you even a man? And suddenly, they were startled when they heard Jiang Ting saying, Jiang Ping, face me. But Jing Ping smiled and said, this is great. That piece of trash is here. Instantaneously, Jiang Ting refined his sun fist and he hit one of the guards. Jing Ting said, do you think you can defeat him? Jiang Ping, it's time to end this. But Jiang Bai he was mad and said, Jiang Ting, you injured my son and now you trespass on our grounds. And he removes his hairpin and told him, I will take you on. Nevertheless, Jiang Ting was enraged and cursed him. Jiang Bai he prepared his hairpin and said you ignorant brat, using your blood pulse recklessly is dangerous. Then he pointed his hairpin to Jiang Ting's dragon pulse. Jing Ping was laughing and according to him, Jiang Ting fell for their trap and his blood pulse returned. Jiang Ting was confused after seeing his blood pulse that was trapped by Jiang Bai his hairpin. But at the moment, he was furious and based on him, he put in so much effort just to awaken it, it can't die here. He even told Jiang Bai he to release his blood pulse, but he didn't listen, instead, he call his bull pulse, and absorbs Jiang Ting's blood pulse. At that moment, Jiang Ting screamed in agony, and he told Jiang Bai he that he is an elder of the family, yet he picked on others for his own benefit. But Jiang Bai he replied, Jiang Ping is my only son, he is my everything. Do I have a choice? And suddenly, Jiang Ping interrupted and told his father, Stop talking to him already. Take my blood pulse back. Nevertheless, his father said that if he uses it, there's no going back. Jiang Ping was enraged and asked, Do you want me to be disabled forever? Even if you don't execute him, he won't live long. He struck his palm using his finger while stating, This is for you, my son. My blood is a sacrifice, please come back omen. And he drips it into his hairpin. Jiang Ting was enraged at the moment. However, Jiang Ping told his father, If you are crippled after this, I will take care of you. His father was still in the process of saving his blood pulse. While Jiang Ping smiled and said, Come back my bull. But Jiang Ting was startled when he noticed that this is the Pan Long Houses. The Black Omen Talisman. From the other point of view, when the Pan Long House invaded, they used a forbidden item to take the blood pulses of others. It absorbed the pulses of every master, no matter how strong they were. The Jiang family named this item as the Black Omen Talisman. However, Jiang Ting was confused about why Jiang Bai he had it. But Jiang Bai he asked him, is that really what you want to know? And he was absorbing Jiang Ting's blood pulse. According to Jiang Ting, Jiang Bai he is connected with the Pan Long House. He must have something about his father's death, and he can't just sit there. All of a sudden he called his nine changed dragon. Flame Serpent is to return. Jiang Bai he was mad at the moment and he still gives his force to absorb the blood pulse, even if it was going back to Jiang Ting. Jiang Bai He, don't do this. If my blood pulse is gone, yours will be as well. Jiang Ping's pulse isn't worth it, and he was enraged at the moment and he gritted his teeth. Nevertheless, Jiang Ping told him, your father oppressed us when he was alive. It's time to pay him back. Sadly you wouldn't just die and even destroy my blood pulse. He also told Jiang Ting that executing him is a mercy. But Jiang Ting replied, Jiang Ping, you caused all of this, yet you hide like a coward. You trash can only rely on others. However, Jiang Bai he told Jiang Ting to stop fighting since this is pointless. According to Jiang Bai he, when his son absorbs his own blood pulse, he will strengthen drastically. Then, he can finally dominate Pan Long Island. But Jiang Ting told him, stop daydreaming, your son is nothing. Nevertheless, Jiang Bai he was enraged and said, shut up. You have no right to talk about my son. Just die already. Your blood pulse is mine. And Jiang Ting feels weak at the moment. He fought for it, but there was nothing he could do. And he shouted because of the pain. However, this man was watching outside and he guessed. Jiang Ting is not enough. Meanwhile at Jiang King He house. He is watching over the window and Tian Long asks him if he is worried. Then he replied, can the second uncle really finish this? And Tian Long told him, he is strong. Jiang Ting is no match. And I have set a failsafe. This arrow can pierce anything. While he was holding the arrow, according to him, Jiang Ting was a dead man. On the other hand, Jiang Ting was lying on the floor, and he is still alive at the moment but he felt hopeless. Jiang Bai he told him, even if my son can't escape this cruel world, I only wish he isn't the one that is ordered around. However, Jiang Ping gets a weapon, and that weapon is the arrow that Tian Long set. Jiang Ping said, well done father, but we have to finish him off. And he pointed it to Jiang Ting and stated, Jiang Ting, you are useless now. Time to die. Jiang Ting silently said father, I am sorry. While Jiang Ping smiled and told him to die. According to Jiang Ting, it seems this is his end and the arrow was coming toward him. He just closed his eyes and suddenly the arrow deflected. Jiang Bai he was startled and as he stated, it was impossible.
However, Jiang Ping was confused about the arrow getting deflected. It goes back to the Black Omen Talisman. And Jiang Bai he could do nothing but he was stunned when the arrow was about to hit the Black Omen Talisman. Jiang Ping couldn't believe it. But the Black Omen Talisman was destroyed. That's all for today, I hope you enjoy watching this recap. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this, till next time.